Hello there, mini trucks. That ball you have there looks brand new. Yes, we've just painted it. Well, good job, mini trucks. Come to think of it, I know exactly who would need your painting skills. Let's go, and I will explain everything at truck control. Yahoo! Yeah! <gasps> Dear Mini Trucks, today Amy the mechanic is doing her paint rounds and will need some help. I thought the four of you would be perfect. She's painting what exactly? She goes around and collects old objects and gives them a facelift by giving them a touch of paint. Oh, like we did with the ball? Exactly right. I will equip you with the paint modules and program the launch pad to send you off right away to a workshop. Ah. for the Mini Trucks! Yay! Yay! Four, three, two, one, mini truck, go! Hello, Amy! Hello there, mini trucks. Are you ready to give a new look to old things? Yes! Well, it's actually called restoration. What is this here? <laughs> That's an elevator bridge. We're going to take it with us. You will quickly understand what it's used for. Our first client of the day is at the restaurant. Chef Cookie! Hello, Chef Cookie. How are you and what can we do for you today? Look at my old cauldron. It's lost all its color. Do you think you can do something to it? If you look carefully, there's a bit of old color left behind. That's right, and it's yellow. Sounds like a mission for me! Okay, here we go for a good dose of yellow. Oh, my, 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 it looks brand new. I didn't expect that. Thank you, Lisa. And one satisfied customer, huh? Who's our next customer, oh. Amy? Zoe the coach. So it's off we go to the sports field. Woohoo! Hello, Zoe. And how can we be of assistance today? I have this old radio that I love to fix. It works really well, but no longer looks as nice. So then, Mini Trucks, who's going to paint this radio? I think this radio used to be green. Woohoo! Bravo, Mini Trucks. Just one more customer on our list. However, I have a feeling this one might be a bit more complicated. Yeah, no worries. <laughs> Sam the Pirate! Hello there, Mini Trucks. Sam, you're our last customer. So what can we do for you? I would like for my old treasure chest to look as good as new and have that sparkle back. Do you think you can help me out? Oh, but it's purple. What should we do? We don't have that shade. According to my digital windshield, it would be possible to make purple by mixing two colors. Oh, yeah? Which ones? Too bad it doesn't say, so I think we're going to have to think for ourselves. Alex, so how about we try with ours? A bit of yellow. And a bit of red to just mix with it. You know that yellow and red make orange? Yeah, it's nice, but it's not purple. Lisa, how about we try? First off, a bit of blue. And a bit of yellow. Look, that makes green. That's my color, but still no purple. Alex and Jeremy, I'm thinking the two of you should give it a try. That's it. I'm glad you figured it out. You made purple. To make it, you need to mix blue with red. Yes, we did it! So now I just need to paint the chest. Hey there, mini trucks. How did your painting challenge go? They're just like professionals. My old chest is as good as new. For your hard work, you deserve the Restoration Painter's Cup. Hey, if you ask me, I think this cup could use a little touch of paint. <laughs> Jeremy, please be 
careful. Wow, look here, Alex. I just found a real dinosaur fossil. You found a fossil, Jeremy? Oh, how lovely. Oh, no, I think it's actually just a small snail shell. Oh, and to think I wanted to become an archaeologist. Archaeo what? An archaeologist is a person whose job it is to find fossils and all sorts of other prehistoric antiquities. Wow! If you would like to find real prehistoric treasures, then all of you follow me to truck control. Yippee! Yeah! Kim, the scientist, has set up her excavation on Claw Island, and she will be needing some reinforcements to help her out. But be warned, Mini Truck, you must be as observant as eagles and work as hard and thoroughly as little mice. You can count on us, Grandpa Ted! Alex and Jeremy, you are going to get yourselves completely equipped with digging modules, while Lisa and Alice are going to be equipped with claw modules to pick up your different finds with care. Yippee! I'm programming the launch pad to send you over to the island. God be to you, mini truck. Four, three, two, one, mini trucks, go! Mini trucks, are you coming to lend me a hand? Yep. Where would you like us to dig? I've already prepared two areas for excavating. Here in the middle of the island and over there near the cliff. Come on, Lisa. We should go to the one near the cliff. Okay, then. Alice and I will search in the middle of the island. And remember to be very thorough when you are digging. Yes, just like little mice. <laughs> With this module, I'll bet I could dig through to the other end of the earth in no time. There! I can see! But that's not a fossil, though, is it? It looks like a plastic watering can. Yes, it's a plastic watering can. Did you know that when plastic objects are thrown out into nature, it can take several thousands of years for it to disappear? Oh, I'll just put it to one side for recycling, then. Look, right there. It's a fossil. Okay, I'll go get it. Wow, wow that's, that's so cool. cool. Wow! There must be even more near it! We're yeah. coming to help! <laughs> Hi there, Mini Trucks! At the rate you're going, you might damage the fossils. Take your time, huh? and more importantly, be very attentive. Sure, you got it! Come on, Jeremy! Let's carry on with our digging! That way, Alice and Lisa will be able to pick up more fossils! Let's do this! That's a lot of fossils. What are we going to do with them? From what I can see, all these pieces are part of the same fossil. We must put them together now. It's kind of like a puzzle then. Okay, I'm going to solve this with my digital windshield. Alex, that one goes right there. Jeremy, you can put that one here. That's right. Alice, you can put it there. Wow, we've nearly finished. There we go. Why, you found a fossil velociraptor. Did you know that these dinosaurs even had feathers? In fact, they are the ancestors of birds. So cool! Whoa, this is very impressive. You have reconstructed an entire dinosaur as a team today. That's because they have been thoroughly working hard as a team. Bravo, Mini Trucks. For your work, you have earned the archaeologist trophy. Yeah! Well, I'm gonna bury my trophy so someone can find it in a thousand years! <laughs> <laughs> hey, look at that! The snow has melted! Wow! That Christmas tree looks really cute with its tiny sharp leaves! Alice, but those are pine needles. They're not 
about leaves. But there are no Christmas ornaments, so how sad. We could put a few snowballs on it. That's impossible, Alex. The snowballs will just melt off. Aww. Hello, mini trucks. It's Grandpa Ted. I thought you should know. I know where you can find some magnificent ornaments. Meet me at Truck Control. So it's off we go on a new mission. Dear Mini Truck, I am sending you on over to Santa Truck. He's prepared the ornaments for Trucksville's giant Christmas tree for you. So cool! Yes, but be careful. Ornaments are very delicate and the road, as you know, is filled with many obstacles. Do you think you're ready? We're ready, Grandpa Ted. That's good. Now let's go! Four. Three, two, one, mini trucks, go! Ho, ho, ho! Hi there, little mini trucks! Hello! Hey, Santa Truck, do you think I can have the new Super Trucks comics for Christmas? And I'd like new headlamps with lots of colors! Ho, ho, ho! You must remain patient for the moment, because your mission is to deliver the ornament all the way downtown without breaking them. Do you think you can manage that? But how are we going to deliver everything ourselves? Grandpa Ted! Well, I know. Let's go, Mini Trucks. Drive up onto the tune-up tunnel. It's time to equip you all with trailers for an express delivery. <laughs> Take care and be good while you work a little bit for me and wait for your Christmas presents. Yeah, let's go! Well then, how about the first to arrive to the bottom win? <laughs> you haven't got a chance, Alice. Woohoo! Slippery roads. Huh? Ah. Yeah. <laughs> Alex, be careful. There's a rock. <laughs> You're gonna lose, and I'm gonna win. <laughs> Look, I won. Alex, are you okay? Yes, yes, I'm okay. I told you it was dangerous now, didn't I? Yes, but you never told me about the rocks. No time to waste. Santa Truck is counting on us. Yes, Jeremy's right. So let's go! <laughs> oh, no! There's an ice sheet that's 100% slippery for at least 100 yards! This time, there's no way I'm going fast. Let's drive side by side, and let's be careful with our trailers. <gasps> oh! I'm skidding! Huh? We're, We're coming! coming. Hey. Phew! That was a close one. Mission accomplished! But what do you mean, Lisa? We have to ensure that the cargo is still intact. We did it! We didn't break anything! Yippee! <laughs> <laughs> These ornaments are really pretty! Well, I like the beaded necklaces on the tree. <laughs> that are called garlands, Alice. Bravo, Mini Trucks! Another successful mission from you. For your work, you win the Express Delivery yeah. Cup! Ho, ho, ho! Congratulations to you and Merry Christmas! Ah, Merry Christmas! all that noise you're making. Oh, Grandpa Ted, um, it's our new song that we wrote. 
<laughs> Honestly, I think you could do with some practice. Lucky for you, I know exactly who could teach you to play nicely. Everyone to truck control! Yeah! Dear Mini Truck, today's mission is to learn to play a tune with musicality. It is a long learning process which demands a lot of perseverance. So then we're gonna learn by ourselves. No, it's Leah the artist who will give you the first music lesson. Did you know that at your age she had already done many concerts? Wow! Now stand by, Mini Trucks, and you're off! Four, three, two, one, mini trucks, go! Hello, hello, hi there, mini trucks. Hello, Leah. Okay, so can you show me what you're all capable of? Yep, I'm gonna try to play the drums. And I'll try the piano. you're making. Let me show you with a little demonstration. Hmm. Ah. Hmm. Wow! So then, Mini Trucks, do you want to know how to actually make music? Me! I know! The notes! C, D, E, F, G, A, B! That's also how we can dance! <laughs> You're getting closer. Music is made of a sweet melody and a rhythm, and it is composed in such a way to be pleasing to the ears. It must be pleasing, but how do we do that? Let's start by getting organized. Jeremy and Lisa on the piano, Alice and Alex on the percussion. Okay! Get in place. I'm ready! Me too! I'm ready for the cymbals! To be organized, I really think we should all start at the exact same time, right? Listen to this, Leah. And one, and two, and one, two, three, four! Oh, brother, why can't we get to make great music? I thought we were so organized just now. It's because you must listen to the others play while you do. Lisa, you're going to use these two keys and you will follow the rhythm. Good. Jeremy, you are going to play these five keys right here, like this. That's it! Oh, this is so great! And that's not all. So, Alice, you'll do this. Woohoo! This is just fun! And for the cherry on the cake, the symbols! Alex, you follow this rhythm. Sound. That's very impressive for beginners. Grandpa Ted! Hello there, Mini Trucks. So tell me, how has your music lesson been today with Leah? Well, we were just about to show you. Are you ready? And one, and two, and one, two, three, four! Happy birthday, Grandpa Ted! <laughs> Thank you, dear Mini Trucks. What a nice surprise. I wasn't expecting such a nice gift for your musicianship. You've earned the Great Musician's Cup. Wow! We can now play loads of other tunes together. Yeah, but next time, let's play some rock and roll. <laughs> <laughs> The little turnip I was growing has disappeared. What? It must have run away. Turnips don't just run away, silly. I'm sure Alex must have eaten it in secret. Me? Eat a yucky turnip? Blah, how gross. But Jeremy likes them, so maybe it's him? No way, it wasn't me. Hello there, Mini Trucks. To find the real culprit of the turnip, you must carefully investigate. Grandpa Ted, do you know who it is? I know that it has got to be a cereal vegetable thief. 
If you would like to lead the investigation, follow me to truck control. Yippee! Yeah! <laughs> Over several days, vegetables have been disappearing from vegetable gardens. Detective Truck is working on this case. You should help him. Yes! Your mission is to find the culprit. But most importantly, you have to find some proof against them. We'll call ourselves the mini detectives of Truckville. I'm programming the launch pad. Have yeah. the case solving mini truck. Four, three, two, one, mini trucks, go! Hello, oh, Detective Truck. Good day, mini trucks. So we understand you're investigating on the disappearing vegetables. Yes, we are in fact at the very spot where the thief committed their last crime. You can see the print mark from his tire here, too. And it's proof that the thief is a truck. Yes, and so how are you going to go about identifying it? We must find someone who can make the same print marks. Bravo, Lisa. I'm sorry I accused you earlier, Alex. The tire marks are far too large to be any of us. And I'm sorry that I accused you as well, Jeremy. But that means we have no suspects. Maybe it's Sam the Pirate. As we know, he can be a real bully. Many years ago, he stole a bolt from me, unfortunately. Follow me. Hi there, Hello. old sea urchin. This time I've got you. Hello, mini trucks. Detective Truck, what's going on? You should know that I've paid my parking meter. <laughs> there is a vegetable thief in the area, and they're leaving behind tire marks at the scene of the crime. Detective Truck has taken a picture, and we want to check that the marks were not yours. I assure you, I have nothing to hide. Look there! The markings from his tires are not the same. I wonder who it could be then. Oh, barnacles! Kim the scientist told me she was doing experiments on her vegetables. But it doesn't look like it could be her. Oh, I'm sure it's her. If I were you, I'd go check it out. Let's go now! Yahoo! Oh, no! What's the matter, Kim? Oh, it's you mini trucks. I was cultivating some carrots and they've all disappeared. My experiment has failed. Well, if Kim has been stolen from, then that means she can't be the culprit, can she? In any case, her tire marks don't match either. Look right here. These marks look exactly like the first one here. It's kind of weird that there's just one tire mark. A truck would leave several. Oh, yeah. the law. You are under arrest. But we know that a tire can't steal. Wait a minute. Oh, look, it's a snail. There are also salads, as well as Kim's carrots. And my turnip. But I still have to wonder how he could make the tire move. There, you can see he's installed a little ship's wheel. That's clever of him. Well, clever or not, this snail is in trouble and must stand trial. Oh, no, Detective Trunk. I have another idea. With this vegetable garden, you will no longer need to take vegetables from anybody else. And if you want some help to look after it, you can just ask. Bravo, mini trucks! Not only have you found the culprit of the missing vegetables, but you also have found a better way than to judge this poor snail. You deserve the Big Heart Detective Trophy for your work today. So good job. Yippee! Wow! We have all become super detectives! Here's proof! <laughs> trucks we're training to become super acrobatic dancers i think you'll find you'll improve more quickly with a good teacher everyone to truck control Yahoo! <sighs> 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 dear 
from any truck. My old friend Tony Truck is a World Cup winner in acrobatic dance. He's so good that he could also turn you into champions. Are you ready to ignite the dance floor's mini trucks? Yeah! In that case, put on your helmets and head over to the skate park. I'm programming the launch pad. Are you ready, mini trucks? Hey, hey, hey! It's gonna rock the house! <laughs> Four, three, two, one, mini trucks, go! Hello, Hello Tony mini truck. truck! Hello there, mini trucks. Well, I certainly hope you're ready to move to the groove. Do you mean on some MC truck? I'm suggesting maybe more like a good old tune from Funky Trucks. Hmm. Oh, heck yeah! Wow, that rocks! Listen carefully to the music and feel the rhythm. The basic move is really simple. We go up, we jump, then we go down. Follow me! Yeah! We go up, we jump, then we go down! Yeah, you've really got it. And now we must add a personal touch to the jump. Watch carefully now. Each of you take your turn, and be sure to try to keep to the rhythm and do your own acrobatics. Oh, I want to try! Are you ready, Alice? Yep, let's do this! Yeehaw! <gasps> I'll admit that was a nice move, but you forgot to go up and then come down in rhythm. It's very important to stick to the tempo. My turn, and now I'm going to show you who has good rhythm. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha! Look, while being in rhythm is great, Alex, keeping your balance is equally important. I think I got it. Yeah! Uh. Whoa! Whoa! Uh oh! Jeremy, not bad at all. With a little bit of practice, your landing will be perfect. Your turn, Lisa. Here I go! Yeah, that was perfect. Bravo, Lisa. Now you all need to do it together while being in perfect sync. Yeah! Are you ready? Yeah, I'm deploying my lenses to check that we're all going at the same speed. Oh, no, 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 no. Um, is anything broken? Okay, so after my analysis, Alice and Jeremy were not going fast enough. And Lisa, you were too fast. So that means all that is left for you to do is agree on an order of turns. In that case, that means Lisa and Alex should go first, then Alice and myself can follow in rhythm. Okay! Mini trucks, go! Bravo! Continue without losing rhythm. And one, and two, and one, and two. Yes, that's it! That's it! We're doing it! <laughs> oh, this reminds me of my youth. Yeah. You mind if I play? Yeah! Woohoo! Oh-ho-ho! -ho. Yeah! Oh. So cool! Whoa-ho-ho! -ho. Hey, Mini Trucks! What a spectacular, impressive show! We've become real acrobatic dancers, Grandpa! Yeah, and we invented our very own acrobatics! Well, I am so proud of you! For your work, you've just earned yourselves the Acrobatic Dancers' Cup! We're gonna keep going until we're world champions, just like Tony!